Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent Creative Memories Advisor located in North Carolina. Today, I'd like to share with you how to use the Creative Memories digital art without using a scrapbooking software or program. This is going to be a great tutorial to take advantage of some of the digital sales that Creative Memories offers. So let me start just by sharing my screen and in order to begin, first you're gonna to have to download your digital art. So in order to do that, first you need to be signed in. Once you're signed in, you need to visit my account, and then you need to go to my downloadable products. As you can see, I've downloaded and purchased quite a few of the Creative Memories art kits. But today I'm gonna to focus on the digital St. Patrick's Day elements because those were recently offered for just one penny. So in order to download it, you're just gonna hover over the blue link next to the item and a download should automatic, automatically be initiated. Depending upon how you've set up your browser, it could be down here or it could open up in a new window. Your product won't be available to use right away. You're gonna to have to do a couple prep steps um, but I'm going to walk you through that as well. So as you can see, my download is now complete. So I'm just going to click on that option and it should open up a window. Our downloads come zipped in a zip file. So in order to use it, you're going to have to extract your items. Up here in the top corner in this ribbon, we have the extract all button. I'm just going to click yes. And if you would like to choose where you want your extracted items to go, you may. Um, and then you can also choose whether or not to view your items upon um, completion. So I'm just going to click extract. My kit is going into my downloads folder. I might move them to a different place later on, but right now that's just where I want to keep them. So now you can see this is my extracted file and I can open them up and see all of the embellishments that I just downloaded. So now that you've downloaded your embellishments, how do you actually use them? Well, these are just ping files and JPEG files. They can be used with pretty much any digital software, but I'm gonna show you how to use them with a non-scrapbooking software because not everyone digitally scrapbooks, but everyone can still enjoy these products. So I'm gonna start by going to Google and I'm gonna go scroll down to Google Docs. This is like a Word program that you would have um, traditionally find in um, Microsoft Office. Um, I don't pay for Office, so I don't have Word. So this is where I create all of my text documents. So I've downloaded those items. They're from St. Patrick's Day, but as you can see, St. Patrick's Day has passed but I maybe um, think that they would work really great with National Scrapbook Day. If you're an advisor, you can use them to create signage for your National Scrapbook Day. So how about if I wrote, Happy National Scrapbook Day. And then I'm going to hit insert and I wanna add an image and I wanna upload it from my computer. From here, I will just navigate to wherever, wherever it is that I save those images, which happen to be in my download folder. So I'll just I'll show you guys how that worked. So I went to my downloads, I clicked on the kit, I clicked on the kit again, and then I click elements. If you're downloading papers or mat, it might say that instead of element. And I click again, and now I have access to all of those image files. So I love this guy here, the leprechaun with the pot of gold. So I'm just gonna say open and it's gonna add it to my paper. That's really big. Um, I'm actually gonna shrink the size of the paper so I can see what I'm working with a little bit. So I'm just selecting the image. I'm gonna go to this top corner, shrink it down a little. That looks good to me. I might move it a bit. I'm just going to increase the size of my font. Yeah, 
are. So look, right there, I've created a super cute welcome sign for my National Scrapbook Day crop. And I did it without having to use any exchange, any software that you'd have to pay for. Um, if you are not an advisor, you can also use these, um, you can print these JPEGs out and fussy cut around them and add them straight to your scrapbook. Make sure you're printing them on a cardstock that is scrapbooking friendly, like our Creative Memories cardstock. Um, advisors, you guys can also copy this image and use them as Facebook memes, or you can use my favorite, my other free tool, the snipping tool, and create a little square that can easily be copied and pasted onto your Facebook. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit on how to use the Creative Memories digital kits without a software. Thanks for tuning in.